Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin. And today we're going to talk about a very cool thing that you can do with Final Cut Pro 10. Correct? That's right. All right. And everybody needs to do it. It's like... It's ex- everybody needs to do it. Everybody needs to do this. Exporting really? still frames from Final Cut. I have needed to export still frames. Don't you just take a screenshot of the viewer? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> one way of doing it. Command, <laughs> command shift three. It yeah. actually takes a or screenshot. Command shift control four, four and draw it and then paste it into your email yeah. app and you're done. Yeah, that's one There's way. There's a better way? There is actually a better way. All right, show me a better way. <laughs> All right, so here we are in Final Cut and I'm gonna go ahead and close the preferences window pane for a moment. And let's say I wanted to export that image. And uh, the image that's in the viewer is the one that's directly into the playhead in the project window. Okay. Okay. So I wanna export that. So really the, the first thing about exporting a still is moving your playhead where you want. Where you want to be, <laughs> exactly. the still you want. Exactly. Okay. And I don't know why it is, but it's not intuitive, uh, and it should be. Um, to export it's, a still, it's just not like we're, file we're, export. See, like, on Ado- like it's cool, but like on Adobe apps, there's a little camera on the, on oh, the yeah, toolbar, you, and it actually makes a noise. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, that doesn't do this. So you know, <laughs> we have to. Click. Wait, you can make the noise. Yeah, for yeah, us. I can. So what I'm going to do is click the share button. Okay. And um, and I'm going to do is I'm going to. By the way, I have some still exports here. We'll deal with that in a moment. But I'm going to go okay. to add destination. Brings us to the destinations preferences. Add destinations. So right. you're actually going to create a new destination. destination. That's great. A, oh, a still okay. image destination. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do is. Get this to default. By the way, if you've got a bunch of destinations that you're like, ah, I'm, they're getting old and long on the tooth or whatever, I don't like them. I want to, I, I want to get everything them. back to. I'm going to use them. I want to get everything back to the defaults. You can control click and choose restore default destinations. You'll be warned. Large dialog, lots of words. Click continue. You're back. You're back <laughs> okay. in business. Okay. Now to add. A still image destination, you got to go back to add destination. Okay. And there's your save current frame. Save current frame. And you just, that's the thing. Yeah, you just, that's it. Save current frame. Yeah. I drag it. If I do a lot of it, it's going to be right at the top, baby. Okay. okay. So you put wherever you want. Whatever, whatever you want. There it is. And I generally like to rename it based on the type of still I'm generating, which is ah, okay. TIFF, Ping, Photoshop, OpenEXR, JPEG. I'm going to say Photoshop because a lot of times I want to double click on it. I want it to open in Photoshop for further editing. Are oh, you going to do something to it? That's okay. right. It creates what's called a Photoshop file header. Okay. So when you double click, it opens in Photoshop. Okay. Sweet. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I, I, click on I, rename. I rename it so I know, I, I know what this is. So I'll type this Photoshop. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to add one more. I'm going to go over here and say, well, I'm going to go ahead and add another one. Yeah. And I'm going to, and the reason, and I'm on a JPEG too. The reason yeah, is, that's what I thought like, you yeah, well, the reason JPEG. I want to do that is because I, I want to upload an image to our server so you can pull it down. I want to upload a, right. you know, it's not the Photoshop file is that big, but why, why have well, extra? Well, someone else might not be able to open there and have Photoshop. You just want to throw it in an exactly. email app or whatever. Okay. So, so in, that, in this case, I'm going to call this uh, JPEG. Done, and I could now. These will become individual selected items from the from the share menu. Show me when when. Okay, I'll show you. If I go over here to the share so menu, back to the share menu, and the photo there they shop. are. Okay. So it adds them to that menu. Now, okay. and you can, they also appear under this menu. File share. Right there. there. Right. Stay there for a second. Okay. Photoshop JPEG. Yeah. Right. Sweet. You can choose, but what if I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I want to reduce the amount of mouse clicks. Oh, because often you're going to want to do both. That's and right. You want to do one and then do another. That's right. Okay. So, so I'm going to make a bundle, a bundle of joy, a bundle of export joy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very easy to do. You just, so I'm going to select these two, command click, then control or right click, and then choose new bundle from selection. And it puts those in a bundle. It's kind of like a, a folder, a group. A or group. Just it's a like a group. And I'm going to call this stills. Stills. Okay. Right. Now, if I close this and I Make go back. another one that's Nash and another that's Young? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I can, yes, but there it is. So okay. when I choose stills. So when you choose that, okay, so what happens now when you choose that? It's, it's just going to go ahead and do well, both. Well, look, you can see there's a button down here that uh, you can see it's going to make a Photoshop it and a JPEG. It shows you each destination each, in the bundle. That's right. Which you can override here, but it shows each destination in the bundle. And you go into nice. se- settings, you can override the settings here, but everything's all set up. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, I'm just going to save both of those on the desktop, click save. And it's just going to spit out a Photoshop version and a JPEG version. I'll have them, you know, in, in one fell swoop. And there's my stills. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see if it's, now see, sometimes it's like here. Yep. 
Should be done. If I go to desktop, that's where I saved it, right? Oh, to be hope it's done. It shouldn't take too long to. Yeah, I. Make it still. I do, yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> a little longer than you would expect. Yeah, exactly. So if I go to the. Did I save it on the desktop? I think I did. You know, I, I don't remember. Yes. There okay. There, 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 there it is. There's the JPEG. And there's the PSD. And there's the PSD. So beautiful. There it is. So if I hit there's there's one, yeah, and then and there's the there's. Of the, course, which is a lot better than taking a snapshot in the viewer because you're not going to get the full resolution like you do here. Exactly. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do awesome. it. Awesome, Steve. Good tip. Yeah. Thank you. All right. You're full of. Tips and tricks. Yeah. Tricks. I'm tricksy. <laughs> so, uh, Ripple Training, if you want more information about Final Cut Pro and related applications, DaVinci Resolve, Motion, Smoke. Smoke. Uh, a lot of good stuff up there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again for tuning in to Mac Break Studio. We'll see you later.